The products now um, are fully lead free at this generation. We had in our 65 nanometer generation removed about 95% of the lead from the, the package and the dye. Um, but this time we've gone and taken all of the lead out and we will be first with that. That will enable fully lead free products. And this, this generation also will in fact make use of entirely halogen free assembly as well as the materials that are used within the packages. So on both the lead and the halogen front, um, the device is much cleaner. Um, the power reduction that we've talked about though is also a huge part of the eco-friendly nature of this new technology and the products and that the power required to do the same amount of computing is down by as much as 30%. And so while many people will choose to improve the performance of their data centers, um, you can in fact make data centers that are substantially lower power by taking advantage of these new products. And that's probably as, as big an effect as all of our manufacturing changes combined. There's pretty good evidence in the uh, press, some of you who do the writing of that, that um, everybody is certainly investigating and researching. Uh, much of the early work was done in various consortiums, so we worked together to identify some of the potential materials. So everybody is moving in that direction. I think the evidence um, is that most people will not move to uh, high K metal gate devices in their initial 45 nanometer technologies, but most of them also say they have plans to follow on shortly thereafter. Um, I don't think it's going to make a yield difference. Their yield will be what their yield is. In fact, the challenges of going to high K metal gate actually pre present a yield challenge that we feel we've successfully overcome. Um, but what they will see is they will see lower performance out of the transistor that without scaling the gate oxide, you can't achieve the same levels of performance. And so for those who do not move, you know, they will have a less performance-minded technology, and, and that'll be the biggest difference. First, we haven't said that we're using pixelated masks yet. We put quite a bit of energy into developing that capability, but we haven't actually said whether we're using that or not. Um, with respect to 32, we do plan. We've announced that we will be using immersion at 32 nanometers. Um, we've been able to avoid that cost at 45 um, using our mass technology as well as you know, a lot of help from the design people. We've done what's called restrictive design rules. Again, the industry talks about it. We put this in place and it does in fact enable us to stretch standard dry 193 lithography and, and gain that cost benefit. But for 32, uh, we think immersion is, is the way that, that we will go along with everyone else. Um, just one generation later, save a little bit of money on the way to it.